I'm here. So this is uh, ultramarine violet and yellow ochre. Ultramarine violet and yellow ochre. That's what I got. But I'm confused about what the drawing is. This and I'm just going to put the first layer. Mm -hmm. This looks a lot lighter than it should have used. Yeah, I've, I've got some buff in it. I didn't change it. It's good that it's on black because it's uh, it would dry darker and we're going to highlight it later on. So it's uh, it's it's uh, it, it, there's no need to start uh, with a light color. Okay. It looks so much lighter. Mm -hmm. Just doing now. It looks so much lighter. Which one? On the, on the screen? On uh, the second one, yeah. Oh, the one I'm doing right now? Yes. Oh, no, yeah. No, no, this is not the same color. Oh, okay. So what are you using there? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to um, figure out a color for this one here. Okay. So I'm just going to, I'm just... Uh, All right, so um, I'm using here um, burnt sienna and ultramarine violet. As a base color. Yeah, that's better. That's much better. It was too light before. It looks it looks light in the on the screen, but uh, it's not that light. It's burnt sienna. Yes. And yeah. In ultramarine violet? Yes. Burnt okay. and ultramarine violet. These two colors. I just want to have a, a very a warm brick color. Um, it, we're going to highlight it again, like, uh, like the one, like this one here. But um, I always like to start with dark first.
You're using burnt sienna and ultramarine violet on that one? Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Burnt sienna and ultramarine violet. Oh, yes. What's your, what are you getting? Are you getting uh, that? Getting a much darker color than what you're showing there. Yeah. Yes. Much, it dark, does. much darker. Well, yeah, whatever whatever you're seeing on the screen is too light. It's not like this here on my canvas. Much, It's much darker than what you're seeing on the screen. Good, because mine looks like a dark mustard color. <laughs> like, mustard? Like Dijon mustard. Dijon mustard? Yeah. And, and you're using, and you're using uh, burnt sienna? Um, no, no, I'm, I'm still on the first one. Oh, you're, oh, okay, that's all right. It's okay. Still dark. Um, it, yeah, yeah, oh, it's kind of like a, a mustardy color, but it, when you put ultramarine violet in there, it um, it tones it down a bit. Okay, can can you look at? Are are you recording still? Yeah. Oops. It's all right. When you, get, when you get a moment, can you look at this? Sure. Just let me know when. Sorry. Okay. Right now, do you want to show me? Yeah. I, I, I would put a bit of more ultramarine violet in there. That'll darken it more, won't it? It's okay. We're going to highlight this. Okay. Yeah. Lael, yeah. Do you use um, on on the second house? Yes. You said burnt sienna and ultramarine violet only. Yes. Because when I do that, the roof looks very much like the wall. Like it looks like on on what I see on the screen, it looks like uh, you added titanium buff. We used for that. Uh, rooftop, we use burnt umber, burnt sienna, and cadmium red light. Okay. Do, do you did you have do you have the same on your rooftop? Yeah, I, I followed that, but right now that I'm putting this new color on, it looks really red with the burnt sienna and ultramarine violet, right? Okay, so put so add more ultramarine violet to Okay. What, which burnt sienna are you using? Winston and Newton? No, I'm using uh, golden. Golden. Okay. I mean, if it's if it looks too uh, red, the rooftop should be red. It should be more red than the house. So the, the rooftop. Is, the rooftop is a lighter red now because it's got the cadmium red in it. Right. Yes. Okay. Can I see? Maybe when we highlight it, it won't look as red. Uh, yeah, when we highlight the house. Yeah, it's just I'm trying to make it look like yours and it doesn't look like yours. Mine doesn't either. <laughs> no, neither does mine. I feel much better now. <laughs> so what I have here is titanium buff, Naples yellow, and ultramarine violet. Um, I. It, yeah, it should look a bit more, the, the, um, toned down, kind of a yellow, more earthy yellow. So that's why I'm using ultramarine violet to tone down the Naples yellow. And that's why I'm not using white to highlight, I'm using um, titanium buff. So when I start highlighting, I'm not going all the way up 
to the rooftop. I'm leaving a line here just because the rooftop is going to cast a shadow on the wall. It looks nicer when it's, uh, there's a bit of a dark in between the wall and the rooftop. It gives it depth. If you, if you get a bit of more titanium buff sometimes when you're picking up your color, that's okay. It doesn't have to be, your color doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be one uh, mixture um, of, you know, the exact color. It's nice if it, you have a variation. It is titanium. Titanium buff. Uh, titanium buff. Naples yellow. Isn't that a bit of uh, ultramarine violet? Ultramarine violet. Thank you, Leo. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm going to try to keep the the side wall dark. This this part here. So um, you could keep it just the way it is, if you like, or you could just put one extra layer of the uh, ultramarine violet and. Uh, uh, yellow ochre in here, if you want. There. Sorry, what did you use there? Oh, just, just ultramarine violet and yellow ochre. Okay. In here. No Naples yellow. No, no, no Naples yellow in here. Because you want to keep it in the shadow. And you don't want it to be uh, too highlighted. Oh, that's a good thing. Sorry, I'm confused. You used Naples yellow mm -hmm. and ultramarine violet. Naples, no, no. I used I used the original color we used before, which is yellow ochre and ultramarine violet, for this part. Okay, but that's, that's what, but that's what we used before. So how are you highlighting? I'm not highlighting this. Oh, you're leaving it. Okay. Oh, I'm leaving it just the way it is. Okay. It's not going to be highlighted. Right. While we're doing this, let's highlight this one here too at the same time. So we have, whoop. right. So we have, there's a window in there. Hmm. Two windows. There are two windows, right? Or one big window. Oh, doesn't matter. There's a bush. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. That's you. Thank you. That felt good. Okay. I like putting this, this, uh, the, this highlighted house on this side it's one third of the one third of the uh, canvas so it's good looks good 
All right, let's see now highlighting the second one is going to be a little bit tricky because once you highlight uh, burn sienna, you, it turns into pink, which is a nice color. Let's see. Oh, nice color. Okay. All right, so this, this one here is going to be exactly the same what we did before. It is burn sienna with uh, ultramarine violet, and I'm just going to add titanium buff. So let's do this. Oh, it can take a bit more titanium buff. Sorry, oh. Leo. Burnt sienna, titanium Ultram buff. And no, burnt sienna, titanium. Um, sorry, burnt sienna, ultramarine violet. Yeah. And titanium buff. And this is the same like the other one. You don't want to highlight the whole thing all the way to this part. This part should stay dark. All right. We might need to highlight it one more time once it's, it's dry, we'll, we'll see, because acrylic dries darker, so we'll see. Um, it might be okay, or it might need another highlight, another layer. Leo, those colors again are... Okay, so the, the, uh, those colors are burnt sienna, ultramarine violet, and titanium buff. Okay. Oh, I like this color. So, so uh, pastel. All right. Um, I'm going to highlight this one up here, same. I usually try when I get to the bottom of the building to um, keep the bottom a bit darker than the top. Okay. I think this one needs to be highlighted as well on the, on the left. Let's see what I use here. Under, I don't know what I've got. What color is there, Lael? Okay, so this color right here is burnt umber. 
cadmium red light and yellow ochre. So the quantity of the ratio of yellow ochre, um, not yellow ochre, I'm sorry, Naples yellow. Yay, Naples yellow. So it is burnt umber, cadmium red light and Naples yellow. So add, add a, a bit more Naples yellow, um, just to get a, a nice highlight in here. I'm way behind you. It's okay. It's all, re all it's all being recorded. Oh, oh, goody. Oh, as long as you know how to pause the uh, recording. Okay. I have to show you how to do that. It's easy. It's, everything is easy once you know how. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's me. <laughs> no, come on, you can do it. I can. I can. Show you. Show. Show you once you'll know. It's. It's. Uh, it's yeah. there. It's a bit tricky. Thank you. <laughs> it is a bit tricky. So what's the color again? Burnt umber. Burnt umber. Burnt umber. Cad Cad yeah. Yeah. So it's the same. Exactly the same color. We we started with. Um, when we uh, did the first layer. We did burnt umber, cadmium red light, and Naples yellow. But now what we're doing is we're adding a stronger, we're adding a bit more Naples yellow to that, to this combination, because we're, we're trying to highlight. And I'm highlighting this part of the wall a bit more to bring it forward. Good, okay. Excellent, all right. Now, okay. okay. Let's do the same with this here, chimney. Same with this chimney right there. And I'm going to do the same uh, I'm going to use the same colors with this one here. Sorry, what color is that you're using, putting on the chimneys of Slayo? The same as this one. So it's burnt umber, cadmium red light, and Naples yellow. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to do this wall that looks really tricky. I get the I get the pointed hat tonight. This one, the second one from the right, is burnt sienna. Uh, burnt. This one's okay. It's, it's okay. Just set. Can I call you back? Well, I'm at art class. Oh, bye. Okay, bye. Sorry, Leo. No crap, no crap. Um, the second one from the right, yeah, there. Yes. It's burnt, burnt sienna. Um, ultramarine violet. Ultramarine violet, yeah. And and titanium buff. Thank you. 
You're welcome. Sorry to, okay, thank you. Great. Yeah. Now, all right, I'm going to stop for a minute now.